Can you feel like one of the older guys now? I mean, you've only been here a year. Uh, I mean, I guess you could say that, you know, just uh, having the experience I had last year, you know, just being a freshman, getting on that field early, you know, um, I know I'm going to be a big player for this team, so I know uh, I'm going to have to st step up and be an um, a older guy. Maybe confidence wasn't an issue anyway. But yeah. Did that last year help you maybe just maybe even be more confident? Yes, sir. Um, you know, just always telling myself, even back from high school, like I knew, you know, uh, I had the potential, you know, like to come to to come to college and uh, play early as a freshman, like I always knew it. So, you know, just coming here and just having a chance to, to show what I had, just it, it just really sparked everything. There was some talk that you had to kind of shut down last year about whether or not you were coming back to Baylor. Mm -hmm. What was the decision there and what, what really kind of sold you on another year? Um, it was just, it was just the environment, you know, just like having that in my mind, but you know, just looking back, you know, um, and through the whole season, you know, like what I've been through with those guys in those locker room, I just feel like leaving would just be like, you know, like, and that really break my heart. So, you know, I was like, I'm gonna stay down, I'm gonna stay down ten toes for these guys. So, yeah. What do you hope to kind of accomplish this season that y'all did, you know, your freshman year? Um, I well. You know, I got All-American last year, so I'm trying to get All-American this year, but it's not true freshman All-American. It's like the the real-time All-American. So, you know, just getting that, it's, it's going to be a big deal. So, yeah. People know about you now. Do you think they might try to stay away from you? Like they won't throw passes your way? Shoot, I hope not. You know, I want all the action. <laughs> so I can have picks, you know, uh, and just make plays for my team. Or you get a lot of action in practice. We we're just talking about the, the offense. What have been your impressions and seeing what Jake Spavital's done, and you know, seeing the, the new faces over there? Sure, it's it's wonderful. You know, just seeing Keytron just uh, and get the ball more. Uh, seeing Presley get the ball more. You know, just having those guys and, and those big time receivers, and that we got. You know, just getting the ball as they hand because I know that they can make some plays. So just having that type of offense where we could throw the ball. You know, it's gonna be. It's going to be something great for us. What's it like having your brother in, in Waco? Uh, How's that been so far? <laughs> it's great, man. You know, um, him being in Vegas, you know, I, I know he wasn't feeling right. I know he was feeling homesick, so I just had to get him over here. What do you think he kind of brings to this team? And do, you, do you think he'll figure in? To yeah, kind of yeah. Um, so with me on his side, I know he's going he gonna to figure things out. and. Um, Cause like I see, he's going through the same stuff I was going through at the beginning um, of last year. So you know, just him, just just learning the defense and just getting more experience on that field. Because in Vegas he didn't really get that much. So you know, just him. And um, I know probably this year or not this year, probably next year. I know he's going to be a big time player for us. Has anyone else in that you know corner group stood out to you or kind of surprised you this spring? Most definitely LeVar, you know, I, I've been new, you know, uh, he had potential, but, you know, just coming back from last season and just seeing him now, like, he's really been growing as a player, and then I know he's going he gonna to really do something probably this year, too. A lot of new voices in that coaching room on the defensive side, you know, Coach Aranda jumping in there, more hands-on. Mm -hmm. But Coach Curtis has been here for a long time. Yes, what does that mean to you, just to have that one consistent voice in your head? So just ever since he was, um, you know, he found me at the Baylor camp, you know, just him calling me every day, just checking up on me, you know, it, it really means a lot. And then I know, um, I know he got, he got my back, and then he know I got his back. So, you know, just having that uh, and that relationship with him is is really special. Did that maybe play a little part in you coming back? I mean, yes, sir. He's gonna be here that kind of thing. Yes, sir. It it really did, cause um, you know he been with me since the beginning of of my high school um, senior year. So you know, like I've been having a, a a long relationship with him. So I know just leaving, you know, it would have probably broke his heart and. It would have most definitely broke mine, so I, I just knew I had to stay here.
pretty sure you, real quick, you led the team in turnovers uh, last season. Yes, Is that, that a goal of yours again? I mean, do you have a specific threshold you want to reach? Uh, you know, I got how many turnovers left? Like, a lot of recovery. Yeah, uh, two recover. So I'm probably trying to at least have six to seven uh, turnovers this year. You know, just up it more because I know I really can. So, you know, just doing that is. Yeah. A couple touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That too. <laughs> yes, Thanks, sir. Man.